So yeah, I, I, I've been up for a while now. I've been working, I did my devotion. I've been here trying to finish up the video, the vlog for today. So today's Sunday and that will be my first weekly vlog and I'm working to wrap up the video. I was doing really well with editing it each day. Although toward the end of the week, I fell off of that and <laughs> now I'm seeing the result of it. It really would have been better if I was doing it each day, but I don't have much left because I had already been doing it in the beginning of the week. Not to mention, I've been writing my caption as the week has gone on. So as I edit every section or every day that's in the vlog, I'm writing out the caption for that section. So it just makes my life a lot easier. This lighting is really bad. I really wanted to just show you how I'm writing the captions and everything. That's not gonna work out, is it? Really not trying to let me be great. That's the problem. What it is is I use Mac, okay? So I have my desktop and then I have my laptop and I use them simultaneously quite often. It just makes my life a whole lot easier. So right now I'm editing the video on my desktop because it's a large file. I hate having to deal with stuff going slow because it's rendering all this, all that. It's just too much. So I've kept, I'm, I edit my large videos, which are usually the YouTube videos on my desktop and then I edit my other smaller videos like IGTV reels what have you on my laptop on my laptop I do have a, a what's it called a USB drive it's 256 gigabyte so I can house a lot of clips to then later create my videos okay, so I know last week I said I was going to add the uh the tutorial on how to make the IG slides I didn't have a new video to do or I forgot to do it for the other, the other video <laughs> but I have a new video that's ready so I'm going to do that if not today, then tomorrow. So it will be in this particular vlog. I use Google Keep. I'm giving you influence, influencer tips in case y'all are curious or just need it or whatever. I use Google Keep. And Google Keep, you can open up on your phone or your desktop or your laptop. It has a, an easy, what's it called, drop off feature where it you, you literally pick up right where you left off. And I love it. I have it open on all of my devices and I literally can pick up right where I left off. What I do as I'm editing, as the weeks go on, is I'm putting everything into Google Keep so that I can easily open it up on any of my devices and all of my information is there. This way when I actually go to upload the video, my caption is done, right? Like who has time to be sitting here trying to write a caption for a week long video? It is a lot, okay? Right now I'm at 23 minutes, but I still need to add in a day or so. All right, so something I think you might find interesting is how I do my thumbnails. So I like to use Canva because why not? I've signed up for the, I don't know, whatever the paid version is. And what I love about it is that it can take away the background on things. So I already started putting stuff together. The fact is in order to really make the weekly vlog a lot easier, I have to edit as I go along. So as the week was going, I I was putting in pictures of things that I thought I wanted to use for my thumbnail but now I want to change it like as I gather what I'm doing for instance I opened up the forever moon candles that was a few days ago so I want to add that to my thumbnails so that stands out this picture of me I think is really cute I'm gonna bring it here in a second so I did this pic this picture was it, this is not gonna go I'm gonna keep that out right so like this picture I think is really cute <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's just keep, let's just, let's just see what it is, you know? So I'm gonna crop this down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Gotta be something that's appealing. It gotta be something that's gonna catch the eye. I'm gonna hold on to this for a second, cause you know, Black History Month, I feel like this would really catch the eye. But this is really doing it for me, you know what I'm saying? So let's bring her out. Although now I'm like, I don't even know because there's so many options of what I could use. Let's put this here, right? We don't need the whole arm. You know what I'm saying? We just need a little bit and this can come yeah, like this. It's fine. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Let's take the mirror out. That's not going to really grab the eye the way I need. Neither is this. So let's move that. I do want to keep the Fendi here because that mask is cute and it'll make you want to be like, oh, what What did she get that was bendy, you know, hello. And we need to add in the Forever Moon candle. So for instance, let me show you how I remove the background. Pixlr is an option, but Pixlr be asking for too many too many steps. Okay, I paid for the, the whatever it costs here. Click on background remover. Can you see all this? I hope so, boy. Background remover and it just automatic. Oh, bless the Lord, no way, <laughs> it removed too much. Oh no. Okay, so it like removed everything because there's so much white in here. Okay, that's not gonna work. So then let me just keep it. Let me just keep it, but like, 
somehow, you know, like do that, you know, because the other way just wasn't working. Okay. I don't know now. I want to take this, I want to bring this down. I don't want to cover this so much. Let's see. Let's minimize that a little bit. We can bring this. What else do I want to, what else did I want to show? Is that all I have? Oh my gosh. Okay. I had some other things. Look, I had this where I was doing some work to show behind the scenes of that. This is a good shot, actually. I don't know now. Look, I need the candle to be there. Maybe I should just find the candle. Let's do that. All right, let's find the candle. Let's find a nice version of the candles. So forevermood.com, because you can use a screenshot or download a current, what? Not a threat. Oh God, not spam, hold on. Forever. Mood. let's do that you can use a screenshot from your video or just go and find the actual item that works as well so I'm gonna come and find a nice beautiful picture from the website and that always is clutch no I didn't call your name we're not talking about that right now <laughs> the echo thought I called her name I did not call you cut, cut it out okay so this is a door oh <laughs> I didn't know the name of the collection. Like I said, I, I just bought it just because. So it's called A Door For You. Did not know that. <laughs> okay, dokie, wonderful. Okay, so let's grab one of these. I love pink, let me grab this one. So right clicking, saving image as. You know what, I may not be able to just, I'm, I just have to be choosy. I can't put everything on here because you don't want your thumbnail to be so cluttered either. So I saved image as, and now here's the image. And I just click on it and here it is. Let me see what happens when I remove the background, if it'll keep this, which I hope. If not, I'll just crop. Okay, this, I can, I can, mm, no. Uh, let me keep it. Okay, so let me take this out. I guess I'm gonna just keep it like this. Just really simple, you know? So let's bring this down a little bit more like that and then stretch this over to really fill it up. I, if I want to crop, I'm going to bring this down like that. Okay. And then I had a, what you call, you know, the title. I got this right from, from Canva and I used it. This was what I had before. I didn't like it. And I had the same thing here. I just save them in here. So it just makes things easier to keep the same vibe if you want. But yeah, I think this will work. And then I download it and I just look at it. Like if I download it and look at it and it's not really speaking to me, I'll change it. So download and then pick the actual page. This is page one. So download that and yep, PNG, whatever, it doesn't matter. And I'm uploading today's video right now. It says I got two hours left, it's crazy. The video is 30, what, 36 minutes long? This was this says two hours, but it could really go a little faster, who knows? But I'm gonna open this up and see what it looks like, and see if it really catches my eye. I mean, I think it does. Let's try this again. I could, I don't know. I'll. You can always change your thumbnail after your video is up too, but I think that one looks nice whatever so in a new tab i've opened this up simply because i need to add something in here and i don't want to disrupt the upload on the other page i want to see if i can upload my thumbnail okay yeah i can do the thumbnail here just to expedite things a bit while the other page is uploading the actual video so it's on my desktop here we go we're going to open and save it here i think that stands out i may want to move the candle over let me move the candle over. You see how the candle is right here? I just want to move it. And I can even rotate this. So it's more like this, you know? But then maybe that's what I want to do. I'm going to zoom in a little more. I don't know. That, that kind of takes away from all the design that their team did. <laughs> that's going to actually work for me. Let me do it like this. You know what I'm saying? So. It's more like in the frame and not so closed. Here we go. Downloading it one more time. Going to delete the old one. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to download it one more time and just replace. Going to replace this. So change. And then it's this new, where is it? It should be in the download. Yeah, 
So this is the new one and I already put it in the vlog, vlog playlist. I do the end screen now because it's still uploading but when I save this it should still save. My caption is so long that I have it saved already in my Google Keep because I cannot afford for this to delete and or not save. I just cannot afford for that so I do have it saved but yeah two hours and seven minutes 17 minutes left to upload. All right now you is zoomed in okay. Go to the one that you've already finished or are working on. Finished or working on works as well and the key is just to take clips you know you want to take clips that look interesting look exciting just something or other right so i'm gonna just pick randomly honestly like this to me this whole thing right here works for me <laughs> you know you know just like whatever oops here it is so ig story for youtube right here we go and I'll explain that whole dark section in a second. So go back to the video. We're looking for 15 seconds or 10 or 15 seconds long is good enough. I do want to have one where I'm showing the, like this clip is nice. It's like interesting. It's kind of like, oh, what is she saying, right? You want to create interest in what you're doing so that people want to watch the video. And that's what we're doing here. So go back to the IG story project that we are already working on. Let me zoom down so it's easier and just control V, I'm pasting it in, going back to the video and getting some more clips. Like this you do wanna see, cause this is showing the actual product, which is intriguing for sure. You know, just like I know, these things don't last for sure. You know what matters most is your soul. Where will you go? Where will you go? Where will you go? Let's be ready. Let's be the light, light. Living in the end times, times. Gotta get right, right. Gotta be ready, ready. When he returns. Then I'm going to highlight everything and then take all the volume out. Then I need to drag and drop the thumbnail into, so the thumbnail's already been created that you have to already create. If you want to do it how I do it, you can always make this however you want, right? It's your story. Let's put that back and I'm going to stretch it out to go to 15. 15 seconds is good. That's one frame. You don't need three frames of your YouTube video unless that's just your style. <laughs> do whatever you want, right? So when I stretch this out to, to 15 seconds, I got all this extra back here. So this is the section that I'm going to take and I'm going to put right at the top. Okay, but it looks like this. You can always do a compound clip, but not, you don't really need to do that if you know what you're doing. So it it fell over a little bit. I'm gonna drag this some more. Actually, wait, what am I doing? This is 15 seconds. This is just extra. Oops, hold on. Let's cut, cut this for a second. If I'm going too fast, please just Google it, YouTube it. I'm sure there's someone that will go a little slower. I just need to get this done right now. So I'm at 17 seconds. That's too long, because then I got two frames, and there does need to be two frames announcing your video, in my opinion. So you can take some stuff off because it's okay. So like this, for instance, would be cut short. You can zoom in like this, or oops, sorry, zoom in like this, or zoom out, okay? You can always make it a compound clip, but really we're done, so there's no, well, not really. Let me show you how to stretch it all out because this, so you can always do Command minus to zoom out some more. All right. Now, oh yeah, okay, yeah, we are gonna do the com compound clip. You know why? I'll tell you why. Okay, so here we go. We need to do a compound clip. Let's take the top one. New compound clip. I mean, I don't. It, it can stay right in here. Whatever. That's just the top version. And then we have the compound clip, meaning it just 
puts it all together you just want everything to be together and not chopped up like that so now we have it all in one clip that's why it's called a compound clip so there's no sound of course you can use your ig story music or you can attach music here i just don't feel like it i'm gonna just use i guess i really could just use the one here shouldn't i it would make my life easier <laughs> oh okay whatever okay here we go now this is the first one you want to transform it's called free transform once you click this you got all the blue lines then you want to move this up so that it's above the clip below <laughs> hello then the middle one you want to stay in the middle the bottom one i want to bring down to the bottom do you see that is that not magnificent and amazing it is i know <laughs> okay then we got the middle one let's let's move it finagle it however we see fit i want to make sure that there's no gap in between the different tiles you know you can do a little stretch if you need to but yeah you know here we go so oh ooh, no what just happened oh one of my clips is acting a fool so i need to i need to okay it's like doing something annoying here at the bottom so i'm gonna expand it so the bottom one's gonna be really zoomed in and that's okay what just happened i know how to fix because I'm talking I missed it I I know how to fix that I can show you when I do this again for my other video this week during this week's vlog but it went in and out just disregard okay so here we go we have it both tiles are saying something different kind of intriguing you're wondering what is she talking about what could she possibly be saying let me click the video so that I can go watch it and see what she got to say I'm moving this over because the words were cropped because I I expanded it yeah and you can you can do with this what you feel you know let's say i had a picture and i wanted the picture to be in the background but then the video to be in the you know like there are so many different ideas that i think about as i create these story promos and i'm like you know what i'm really gonna finagle this as the times go on i had an export export into 4k because why not it's 2021 everything should be 4k you know praise the lord good morning today is tuesday Praise the Lord, and I am getting ready to do my makeup for a very special, important, fun, exciting, fantastic, uh, magnificent, uh, am, I, am I giving enough descriptors? Partnership that I'm doing, putting everything together to get ready for that. I'm about to do my makeup, you know what I'm saying, and uh, let's go. Okay, I have an hour, I'm gonna give myself time, no rushing, you know, but it's exciting, so when I announce it, make sure you tune in, make sure you, thing, you sign up, you know? I got a little hookup for the kid, okay? Hookup for the girls. Yeah, I washed my hair last night and I, I co-washed my hair last night and in the shower I did the two braids and it's just in a bun back here. It's me in a bun. And let's see, I'm about to light my candle because I love things to smell really, really good. I'm still working through Bath and Body candles and I have not burned another one of Jackie's candles yet. I'm working on Bath and Body right now. Listen, I told you already, this stuff is too good to be true. I don't want it to run out, so I gotta go a little slow. <laughs> ah, I wanted some more. Oh wait, okay, so what I do, I've never shared, have I shared this before? I take paper towels. I know when I was younger, my mom, oh my gosh, I used to use paper towel like it was so literal. I used to use a lot and I didn't care, right? And then when I moved out to Houston 10 years ago and was living on my own, I didn't buy toilet to paper towel. My mom was like, no, paper towel, no way. And I'm like, mm, I don't buy that. <laughs> And she's like, excuse me? When you were in my house, you were using it like it was water and now you don't buy it. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's, it's expensive. <laughs> anyway, but I use it every time I do my makeup. So I lay one of the paper towels down. I have it in front of me. From being a makeup artist and working at MAC, you always put down a Kleenex in front of you and put your products on it and just had some around to clean up and just tidy up. And I'm just used to it. I, I cannot, if I'm in a hotel, I will take a towel or I will take tissue and put it down in front of me. And then I also cut some. <laughs> I cut some like this and I, I use it to wipe or whatever, just miscellaneous things. It's just a must, it's a habit and I think it's a great habit. So if you don't put something down on your table, your counter, you're really missing out. So that's what I do, I think it's great. <laughs> and now I'm gonna do my edges. I'm going to, I really could do edge tamer, but I want my edges to be hard. Edge tamer is good, but it be lifted up and I don't want any lift in situations right now. Edge tamer is not good in the humidity and it's not humid today per se, but I also don't want it to give out on me later. I just don't feel like dealing with it. So I'm gonna do got to be, cause got to be is, I just feel like really making sure my edges are really snatched today and always. <laughs> I never want them to be looking raggedy, you know, who wants that? 
I only put it just in the beginning because it doesn't need to go everywhere. I'm putting on a unit and I actually don't even know what unit I'm gonna wear. I don't know what unit I'm gonna wear, but we'll figure it out. Ah, original, original Batman. Ah, and uh, me get this song for them. Lego. Ah, original Batman. Eh, oh, ah, his body, baby. Eh, ah. It's fake hills. Standard. So, <laughs> <sighs> uh, do you like these glasses by the way these are blue light glasses from amazon i'm really supposed to be using them when i'm on the computer but i don't usually this chair is giving me jim 80 cricket that's not gonna work for me bless the lord i need to get some wd-40 some oil spray and put on this chair because it ain't gonna play me like this this chair is not that old i'm annoyed i just finished my call <sighs> Talk about nerve wracking when you really, really, really want to do something well. And it kept me up. I slept last night, but I kept thinking about this call. And it's because I really wanted to do a great job and I wanted to do it well. And I had so many thoughts and ideas and I wanted to make sure I hit all the points and just did a good job. You know, you want to just do a good job. And it went well, but it didn't go without any hiccups. I had a hiccup with my camera. And then the sun was coming in through the window. It was shining on my face. <sighs> we made it do what it do. I was talking with another blogger. She's so sweet. She's here in Houston. We made it do what it do, but I was sweating. I, my heart was pounding, you know, I was just so anxious. I wanted to do a good job and I didn't want there to be any hiccups. And there were hiccups. Like last minute, I had to change the camera I was using. For that reason, it showed more of my background than I anticipated initially. So I like cleared off this table, cleared off the pillow behind me, moved my lights out of the way so fast. Uh, it was just, anyway. So yeah, here we are. Oh, my feet have dropped. Bless the, Jesus, yo, if you could see my feet. <laughs> my feet are so dry. I don't have lotion in my feet, but obviously not enough. Oh my. My, my, my. Huh. Okay. So I could film some more, but I can't lie. I need to edit too. It's like this tangled web. Like, do I film? Do I edit? I'm dressed, so I should film, but then I really want to edit. But then I really want to rest because I'm tired. And my wig was mad tight. Like I had, I had both bra straps in the back on. I don't know why. It was so tight. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> so I loosened one of the straps, but I can't lie. I'm about to loosen the other one. This wig doesn't need to be so stiff on my head. I don't go anywhere. And even when, it's not like I'm going to be dancing and dutty whining so the wig is not gonna there's no potential for the wig to fall off it doesn't need to be so freaking tight i'm only at home back is getting all snarly that's how the wig be doing you it be getting all snarly and it's like come on can you hold it together i like it though it's an easy just throw on and go like i don't have to curl it it's already curled it's synthetic so the curl stays it's not gonna fall because of the heat it's just not gonna give me any problems except getting tangled you know but for 35 dollars Come on, what else would you, you know, what would you expect for $35? Look at this, it's tangly. And I don't comb her often because I don't want it to look so brushed. I like it to be, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I might just take this off and give her a little rest because she acting up right now. Maybe I'll keep her on. Because it's synthetic, you really can't be moving around and doing a lot in this wig. It's good to film, it's good to go one or two places, come back home, put her down. You know, you can be moving and doing too many things because she's synthetic. I might put on my headband wig. I need to shave my legs. My legs are so hairy. Yo, I don't remember the last time. I don't shave, excuse me, I do nair. I don't remember the last time I took this hair off my legs. It is long. Long. like it's offensively long I'm getting a wax on Thursday I have not been waxed in years so I went and got a wax when I first came to Houston I wanted to try it out it was horrific and I can't lie I've been thinking about that feeling because I want to prepare myself for the torment but I remember how great it was afterward because the hair grows back thinner finer not as much I didn't keep it up I went twice because back then I couldn't I wasn't making enough money to afford paying fifty dollars a month to get my twat waxed <laughs> <laughs> it's a twat, you know. So now I can afford it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me go treat myself. I'm going to get a Brazilian front to back, the whole situation. Mm -hmm. That's on Thursday. It's a 15 minute appointment. I remember they go fast. Jesus. Like I, I, I'm bracing myself for that first rip. 
I do have a high tolerance for pain, so I can deal with it. I just, I don't think there is any preparing. It is horrific. That's on Thursday. I'm gonna take this wig off and put on a different wig. This is just the, the awesomeness about wigs. Just change your hairstyle. Take this off. It's not that snolly, but I do have this purple spray. I purchased it in a very long time. It's a purple spray. It's for synthetic hair and it, you, you comb it through and it helps it to, you know, loosen it up a little bit. But after a while, you comb these wigs enough, it, you gotta hang it up. It's just enough. All right, headband wig to the rescue. <laughs> okay, I leave it in the bun because why not? Let's push this back some more. Mm, I need to give her a little comb. What in the world? Strap her in, fasten her seatbelt. <laughs> I don't keep it like this because that's ugly, okay? I don't need this to be so, cl I don't like, no, that's not my vibe. I just fold it back. You see what I'm saying? I wanna see the edges that I took my time to lay down, okay? I do wanna see them. This is just got to be glue, who cares? But this is looking frizzy. And I actually like the hair to be frizzy, kind of like a mess, you know, like it's a cute mess. And then I have a bobby pin. Oh, the bobby pin came out. That's why it looks like that. So, now pinning up the back so it doesn't look too wild. And yeah, just opening up this bun a little bit. And that's it, you know, just keeping it kind of rough looking, but cute, rough and cute. And then I got my headbands. You know, these are from my headband wig video. And these headbands are from Amazon. So cute, come in a pack. Isn't that a cute little switch up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a little headband wig situation going. You gotta be careful, don't let the hair touch the strap because then it sticks. And tass. When you look at, the, you know I love print, clearly, right? You got the snake print, you got the leopard glasses. Like, what more do you need? What more do you need, you know? Like, what? I don't wear makeup and glasses, although I should be doing my, I should be wearing my blue lights when I do my work, so it ends up being makeup and glasses, but it's not intentional, you get it, okay? But this is really like a vibe, it's like really a look. I guess I could do makeup without my, without my contacts, but the lashes, they're very long, so they're gonna touch the glasses and just mess things up. I'm rambling, hi, hello, and bye. <laughs> You're still waiting on me, hi, hello. <laughs> Let me show you this outfit. This is just a cute loungewear outfit. It's shorts, I just tucked it in a little bit. Very, very good material. I have it in blue, white, and then this pink. So in all of you, and in all you too. I'm so in all of you and in all you too. All right, we got two pieces of PR in from Urban Decay, which I'm really excited about. I was gonna put it in my Sephora cart and get it because I was like, <laughs> what? Like, I need that. And then they also sent the eyeshadow primer potion. So thank you a lot for this, Urban Decay. I really enjoyed their Ultra Violet Palette. Viola. Violet palette and you saw that already. I, I can't even open this. I'm just gonna tear it apart. You saw that video already. The colors are really great. That was a companion palette. It's not a start to finish palette for me at least. I could not do a full face just with that. Ooh, this color reminds me of a color that's in the other palette, but really, really pretty. I don't do silver often. Okay, so for instance, I don't normally do swatches, but here we are, let's do it. Like this, I have not lotioned my hand. Excuse any ash. Ooh, like it has a brown to it, kind of. This color, these are creamy. Really, really creamy. Uh, Ghost Town, I already know, is gonna be my awesome reddish brown transition color. These are really pretty. So I look forward to using this. Let me know if you are looking forward to a video with this palette. Oh, right. Ooh, no. Okay, it is third. Oh, today's Wednesday. I almost said Thursday. Mm -mm. Are we crooked? Bless God. Oh, dear Lord. Why are we crooked? Oh, okay. <laughs> Are we cooking again? I'm so annoyed. It's Wednesday. Today I just filmed a video using the Morphe foundation. So that is what's on my face right now. So stay tuned for the video. Make sure you watch that. I have two videos going live this week on YouTube. So, and today is one of the days. So hopefully by the time you see this on Sunday, you will have already watched those two videos. And if you haven't, make sure you watch them. Hello. Additionally, so I filed my LLC a few days ago and I expedited it because I didn't want to wait three weeks or whatever it was. And I already got approved. 
move. So I have my LLC, you know, together because up until now I was filing as a sole proprietor, which has been fine, but things have taken a serious turn for the better. So it's time to be an LLC, which I am. So I'm grateful for that. It just feels like such a good, like a, such a big feat. So if you are an entrepreneur, you really not one until you are an LLC, you see what I'm saying? So, you know, sis is an LLC, praise the Lord. So I've been working on that this morning and with the bank and all of those things. I have one other campaign that I need to film right now. Actually, I just finished filming it. Wait, I, uh, what going on? I just finished filming it. So I actually just need to look it over and put some finishing touches on it and then send it over to the brand. Tomorrow I get my wax and I have a photo shoot. <laughs> realize it's all on the same day. I mean, not that one's gonna impact the other. They're hours apart, but I'm just like, dang, I'm gonna get this twat wax and then. <laughs> Cool, awesome, fantastic, great. It's been great, moving on. You really need to attack this area over here. It's bothering me. This is boots, shoes that I still wanna wear and shoot with, and so are all of these items here. It just looks a mess, and I'm not happy with how it looks, so it's part of what I wanna tackle soon. This camera is really good. When I move, it's so smooth. 30 frames per second, hello. It is Thursday, good morning. I'm gonna refresh my hair, putting my headband wig on, and then going to get my wax today. I'm gonna use the Ebon Edge Control because I don't have time for the got to be to dry. This is really good if it's cold outside. When it's humid, forget it. This is not gonna last. But when it's cold out, this does last. And look, I'm just gonna use my fingers and just smooth the hair down. And literally, that's enough. Look how flat that is. This is good if you don't have time to let it dry. Or if you just don't wanna use got to be. Got to be is pretty strong. And use a lot, don't be cheap. You gotta really get this on. Put this on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything is a song. Headband wig already in a bun. Oops, push this back, like way back. Because why not? Comb in the back, oopsie. This thing is bushy, I'm gonna <laughs> fix it. I have a pin back here, you know that. Just keep this pin back there. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know I like to just, when I'm looking athletic like this, I'm gonna throw this headband on. I'll link these below as well. They come in a pack, Col all kind of colors. Oh, it's gonna make it bushy again, shoot. <laughs> okay. Let me take this pin out again and gather all of that in the back. I don't make it tight. The whole point for me is for it to be loose. If you want it tight, make your bun tight. Not nah, just do it like this. Whatever. It's just meant to be like a, oh, I just woke up and threw my hair in a bun. You know, that's really my vibe right now. Now I look more like a person. I'll take you with me. I don't know how much I can show you when I get there, but we gonna see. I did work out, so I made sure I showered before I go because the last thing I need is to be funky getting a Brazilian wax, that's disgusting. I know they're gonna wear a mask, but still, I think it's very important to be clean. I've been liking this one. I really have Midnight Fleur from Nest. I, I just posted an IG story promoting my YouTube video. Should I show you how to do this? I use Mojo, Mo to the Joe, and it's wicked easy. I paid for the pro membership, whatever cost that was, I don't remember. And I just love it because it gives you really high quality interact, not interactive, but like really nice stories and you can make posts out of it and stuff. I like it a lot. And I haven't used it in a while and I just noticed that they have some new templates. So I'm like, uh, hold on a minute. I want to use this. Um, <laughs> someone just walked in. So I'm gonna let her get herself together. Ooh, bless God. I, I've been trying to remember the pain from the last time that I got this 10 years ago. It's been a very long time. I usually just maintain myself as what I want to do is anticipate the pain. If I could have a C-section and survive, I can get a Brazilian wax for God's sake. That's just the way I see it. I worked out my Peloton, which felt really good. I did a 20 minute run, which I was so shocked. You know what? I went to bed and I told myself in bed before I was asleep, I said, this is what I'm gonna do tomorrow morning. I prepared my mind. I find that when I prepare my mind for what I'm gonna do in the morning, when I get up, I'm already, already ready for it because I prepped my mind in the morning, the night before. So I prepped my mind and I said, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna do cardio. I'm gonna run and I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna have energy. I'm gonna get this thing done. I'm gonna conquer all of this fatigue and, and whatever, right? My health, my weight loss, all of that. And sure enough, when I got up, I was able to run. I mean, I was shocked. Like I was running for five minutes straight and I was like, excuse me, granted, it was like a 3.8, but that's something, that's a jog, okay? Yo, <laughs> Woo! let me tell you. <laughs> First of all, the lady I had, first of all, she was a black woman and she took really good care of me. We were talking a lot and that was partly because I just really didn't want to be in too much pain, but also she seemed really sweet and I felt comfortable. So we we're talking 
it goes without saying that joint is painful but it's my first time so i know that the more i go the better it will be and so i'm going to be going each month but yo yo <laughs> All I can say is yo. I feel fine now. I'm not I'm not in pain at all whatsoever right now, but wow. Like wow. Just absolute and utter wow. And then you got to you got to you got to sit in a butterfly position. But she she's very very professional. So it's not like anything that's weird. And then, you know, when they do the back, you know, they do the butt crack, then it's a whole like knees to the what did you say knees to chest. It's just a whole thing. It's just a whole thing. <laughs> I do believe that every woman should try it. I do believe that every woman should try it. The results are amazing. And I'm just here for the, the lesser density of hair. And I'm here for the smoothness, you know, the exfoliation of it all. I'm just here for all of that. <laughs> That's all. Listen, I'm just all in about this LLC business. I'm watching a video from Prince Donnell, Jumpin' Jacks, Taxes, Curl Box, Curl Bible. Is it Curl Box? Oh my goodness, wait a minute. Curl Box is Miley Teal. Dana Chanel, husband, Prince Donnell. I'm watching a video about how to pay yourself as a single member LLC. This is some good stuff, y'all. This is important. This is big girl panties, you know, stuff I kind of knew about, but not really. I'm really learning about all of it. It's time to elevate. It's time to really understand what's going on, what the liability is, what, what, everything. You know, when you're making the kind of money that I'm making right now, you got to do things correctly. So here I am listening now in. I'm right? It's important. I know I got to pay taxes, which is self-employment tax and federal tax, which that I can get paid and I'm going to be able to pay myself 900 bucks and that means that you're left with uh. original bad man it's fake kills